We selected a 1968 Ford Mustang for Car of the Week. Now this is actually a very special Mustang and this particular show is completely dedicated to Reeve and Ann Chalmers and the whole Chalmers family. These people are absolutely phenomenal. When I get commissioned to do a car, this car here was probably one of the best projects I've done in many, many, many years. When we went ahead and decided to do this particular car, this car here had a complete list to make a California Special GT 68 Mustang convertible. Now you Mustang buffs know that they did not make a GT California Special convertible back in those years. So we made all sorts of changes and all sorts of things to this particular car. The history of Mustang is absolutely phenomenal. It was Lee Iacocca's best idea ever and one of the best selling cars in the best history of selling cars in Ford's early history. These cars right here in the 65 on sold nearly a half a million cars. Pretty much outsold almost anything on the market. When they came out in 1964 and a half because they were, they were actually six months ahead of schedule. So when they brought the car in, that's what they did when they went ahead and got this car. Now a lot of you guys might not know this. The very first Mustang, and I mean the very first Mustang, was a V4 cylinder car, fiberglass body, and it was at the Detroit Auto Show. Two passenger car, 90 horsepower. People were absolutely just mega nuts over this particular car. And Lee Akai could know he needed to go ahead and get a Mustang car on the market. They had three different body styles, of course. They actually had the, the Mustang Coupe, they had the Mustang Fastback, and the Mustang Convertible. Back in the 64 and a half, all the way 1965, the body pretty much stayed the same. And we'll do a Carroll Shelby thing one of these days in 1965 and 66. They wanted a car to compete with the Corvette and get those type of cars rocking and rolling. But when 67 and 68 came along, they put out a car called the California Special over and above all their other options. They had the six cylinder, they had the 289, they had the 302, and they had the whopping 427 and they had the 428 Cobra jet engine in these cars also. So they had a pretty big array of all sorts of options to have besides, you know, the C4 transmission, the C6 transmission was a big heavy duty automatic, and of course a four speed. Plenty of options, all sorts of options. But when they came out with a car called the California Special, it was designed really for California originally, and they came out with a car called the High Country that was really designed for Colorado Governor, which was designed by Ford to go ahead and get a car over to them. The history behind Mustang guys is really fascinating to look into, but I do want to show you a lot of great things about a car we custom built for Reeves Chalmers. Take out the papers and the trash. Oh, you don't get no spending cash. If you don't scrub that kitchen floor, you ain't gonna rock and roll no more. Jack the act. Don't talk back. Just finish cleaning up your room. Let's see that dust fly with that broom. Talk back. You just put on your coat and hat And walk yourself to the laundromat And when you finish doing that Bring in the dog and put out the cat Yakety yak Don't talk back great ideas that we all put together. We sat down with Reeves and Alex. We sat down in the office and we designed a car that is exactly what they kind of wanted. And a lot of things we went crazy over is ordering the exact right hood that worked for the particular project we were working on. I actually call this kind of a Mustang rod because of all the really cool options we had. We had different hood options. We went ahead and decided this particular hood that actually had the scoops pretty much about 22 inches back from the front nose. We were even considering doing the Shelby front, front uh, nose clip on the car also, but we thought this was a cleaner design and a much better way to go. And it looks absolutely spectacular. I wish I could really always say it on the show, get a camera that could really get the depth and the paint on this car. But this car right here was painted three times, color sanded and buffed three times. The paint came out absolutely spectacular. Very, very durable. These right here are, of course, the rally lights that went on California specials. Some GTs had different makes and models. There were amber lights. There was round lights. There were octagon lights. We chose the octagon clear lights for some better viewing. 
Now, for you Mustang guys know, you know that these cars here had optional scoops. Shelby ran the scoops, and of course, California Specials ran the scoop. High country, we won't leave that word out of there. But when they originally did, they ran a stripe that ran out in the middle of the door over this right here, and it had actually the word, the letterings for California Special GT. So it was CSGT, came across right on here and went on back. Now, we chose to make the stripe go on the bottom of the car for the 350 GT. When we get to the power plant, I'll show you why we did that. More of the body options that did come on the Shelby's and of course the California Specials are the uh, what they call the fender extensions. These right here are fiberglass. Uh, thanks for Bill Meyer over at Meyer Racing went ahead and custom formed these for us for the car. These are bolted on. The take off removal uh, casted piece, and these are all fiberglass. And I think they make or break a car. They look absolutely spectacular on them. And the deck lid, of course, is all fiberglass too. The fiberglass does have the big swoop on the back of it. The big flat end on it, I think, is a car that real, real special look but there's two taillight options and of course when you're building these kind of cars you guys all know this at home when you're building this stuff here you got to make some decisions and what kind of works what doesn't work and what your flavor is and we had three different taillight options to go. We went ahead and went with this style here because we kind of like the big silver O-ring that went around the back of the Shelby lights. And for 68, this right here really makes and breaks the car. Looks fantastic on it. And you guys know that I'm a real lay down for dual exhaust and coming out the back of the balance. These are actually custom exhaust tips. These are stainless steel and they're kind of oval in shape. You'll see the shape that goes around on that and you have the two tips coming out the back. So we go ahead and added the uh, rear valance, GT rear valance with the dual tips, the Shelby lights and the two corner extensions and the fiberglass hood. I think this car here looks absolutely spectacular. And some of the other body pieces they need to be put on the car are all in fiberglass. This hole here is a completely different fiberglass panel to install the Shelby real lights. And one thing is we had to do on this car here, you guys know how it is, you got to have the GT rear gas cap. When you do modifications and doing some changeovers with parts that are out there, there's sometimes um, you have to make some concessions on type, some type of stuff. When you're doing these, these trunks, the deck lids, they're actually fiberglass. They're not steel. And actually, the weight of them is actually a lot lighter. So we have to go ahead and have this car here. We actually have to have a pull rod. You guys all know that I'm basically a real sticker on attention to detail. You can tell the cadmium plated nuts and bolts actually hold the trunk all together on both sides. Now you might be wondering really what this particular rubber bumper is for on both sides, left and right, and you might be wondering what these bumpers are for too. Being a fiberglass hood, they do actually warp, and it's a pretty big, massive area. Instead of building a bunch of a bondo and a bunch of other things to make the hoods kind of crack and and cause plenty of problems, a concept idea came to to go ahead and actually you know support all the hood, uh, the trunk deck lid as much as you possibly can with rubber bumpers on both sides. It's kind of a creative idea and it works great. Give it a shot if your hood or, or deck lid has a little bit of warpage to it. This works fantastic and I'm telling you guys, it gives it the good fit look. There's a lot of custom things we did, and we're going to go into the inside of this car. I'm telling you, with, with red outside, black interior, I'm telling you guys, this car works. But you could probably go ahead and tell all the speaker systems, these are all custom made. We had Bobby over Mountain View Interiors, he custom made all these back panels for speakers inside here and speakers inside there. And then when we get inside the car, you're going to see inside the kick panels, right by the left of your feet, you're going to see a speaker system put into there for an excellent sound system we put in the car. They just don't make doors like this anymore. You push the button, pops right on open. All the door jams are beautiful. They turned out really nice. That's where the attention to detail really comes in when you do a lot of these cars. And you can probably see through the through, on, on the screen there the seats and all the door panels. No expense was spared to go ahead and make this right. All the rocker panels, obviously new carpets, but the dash. The dash in these cars I think are really done well. They have a great design to them. You know, there's circular for the for the speedometer and then the gauges and of course the gauges left and right clock in the center. This car does not have a clock by the way, but that's where the clock was supposed to be set up in the center but we actually did some add-on we added some gauges on the bottom we kept them lit all the time so as soon as the keys on those gauges are lit all the time so you can actually see any of your stuff going on those are mechanical gauges mechanical gauges are much more dependable than of course the electric uh, stuff and of course idiot lights you know guys always want to replace those and remove them and put on gauges that's what we did to this car and that's what makes it extremely extremely safe and spectacular there's a few things during the discussion that was a no-brainer, and the no-brainer right here is these Shelby spoke wheels, and I think they look 
absolutely, and I know I say this word all the time, every time for some really spectacular cars, that is really spectacular. But if you see in the inside, to see some of the options we put on this car, we actually put on front disc brakes and rear disc brakes. Okay, let's get to the nuts and bolts here on the 68 Mustang GT special custom made car. Let's get to under the hood. Under the hood of this car, we basically did everything under the hood you can. We got power steering, we got power brakes. Now this is not an air-conditioned car. This car here was meant to use, drive, and run, and enjoy. So they didn't really need air conditioning and some of the other amenities on it. We went for performance and smooth performance, of course, with the dual exhaust. This is a 302 engine built with Elderbrock aluminum heads, aluminum intake manifold. We actually have a Holley um, four barrel under the hood here. We got some electronic ignition, got chrome parts, aluminum radiator. I'm telling you, it looks great. The car runs spectacular. Now, we do have roller rockers on this motor. It gives it really the performance really we're looking for in this car. I'm seeing the horsepower in this car here does extremely well, probably uh, quite a bit better than the factory version. Hope you guys enjoy the show, seeing the Beach Boys, seeing the American Graffiti, and all the cars. I want to thank everybody that participated in Hot San Jose Nights this year, because we have a year plan for what we call our 2014 Hot San Jose Nights. The plan in the, in the works right now is at Reed Hillview Airport, and it's going to be free, yes, free to the public this time. We decided to make some change up with Hot San Jose Nights to make it more enjoyable for really everybody. We're doing the best we can. There's really not a profit center here. We cater to a lot of charities involved. And then, of course, there's special thanks to a lot of people that help operate this. we got West Wind, which is Capital Drive, and of course in Rich Alvary over at the San Jose Flea Market to help support Hot San Jose Nights this year. And of course with Car of the Week being the very special 1968 Ford Mustang California GT Special. That's a mouthful of the car. So guys, hey, till next time around, live life well, do all you can, and God bless everybody that watches the program, and I'm saying I'll see you guys next time.